had a list of amazing women on the show in the past sharing their stories. For the next few episodes, I wanted to feature women that have allowed me to share in their journeys. Welcome to another session of Woman to Woman Business, the show where we aim to empower, inspire, and support women in business. I'm Haydon, website and brand designer. For the next few episodes, I'll be featuring some of the amazing ladies I've worked with. If you've not yet subscribed to our channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, leave comments. Let me know if you're inspired by any of the uh, guests that we've had on the show. Today, I'll be speaking with Chloe. She's going to be taking us through her journey so far. Let's hear what she has to say. Hi, Chloe. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Hi, no problem. Thank you for having me. So I've worked with you and I know a little bit about your brand and what you do, but our audience might not. So can you share a little about what you do with our audience? So my name is Chloe Jessica and I'm the founder of Unoya London um, and Unoya is a faith inspired lifestyle brand for women on a journey um, and it was created to encourage women to think good, feel good and look good in that particular order and just encourage them to embrace the perfectly imperfect journey that life is. Perfect. So how did, how did that start for you? It started a very long time ago. It's it's taken so long to come into fruition. Um, but I would say it probably started for me at a time where I just felt like the world was becoming so social media focused and so social media centered. Everything was kind of about image and, you know, where everyone was, the perfect life that everyone was showing in social media. Whereas in reality, there is so much more going on in life um, and going on in everyone else's individual lives. So I just wanted to create a brand that kind of brought things back to what's going on within. Um, and that's why we've got the um, R slogan, which is think good, feel good and look good. Because I think we get so focused on everything that we're visually seeing yeah. um, and everything that we're showing and putting a front up for. But it's really what's going on in the heart and minds that is most important so yeah yeah oh that sounds good well you know when I actually first met you Chloe yeah. um, I loved everything about the brand you know I'm about simplicity and I loved the message behind it so at the end of this I'm gonna have Chloe share her link so that you guys can check it out as well all right um so how is it going since you know since I've left you to sort of you know, pick up where I left off. How has it been going for you? It's been a roller coaster. Um, I think it's almost about six months now since we launched. And one thing I'll say is that the learning never stops. Like, I feel like we've really only just started. You think all the time leading up to starting a brand is like, okay, you're, you're gaining all these new skills and you're figuring out how to do all this, like, things that you've never done before because yeah. obviously for me my background is pharmacy so business I didn't go to university for business and one thing I'll say is that you're always constantly be learning I'm always yeah. learning figuring out new things even you know I've been messaging you asking you for yes. certain things because yeah you just it, it's, it's a really close to, it's a learning curve and you just have to stick with it it's it's definitely not easy um but you know you have to remember why you're doing what you're doing and keep at it yeah it's just it's constant learning it's constant learning and I think the minute that you stop is when everything stops you know yeah so it's true okay well what's been your greatest challenge I know you said it's been challenging but what's been your greatest challenge um so far and what did you do to sort of overcome that um uh, I would probably say marketing has been my greatest challenge in the sense mm. that it's marketing is more than social media. There's obviously social media is a great tool for marketing, but there's so many things outside of that um, that contribute to it. So Google and YouTube and books have been my best friend <laughs> in terms of learning and growing and developing brand awareness. And also, um, I think for me, even though, like I said, social media isn't the only aspect to marketing. Mm. I'm not a social media expert in itself. So outsourcing um, social media services for people who 
know more than me and are better at, than me at doing that kind of stuff um, has been really beneficial um, because I've had to realise I can't do everything and I don't know everything and there are people who who are more skilled than me at, at doing those things mm. and my time is my time could be spent better doing another aspect or focusing on another aspect of the business basically so, yeah. right it's true what's been your greatest achievement so far let's talk about that greatest achievement um I would say we had quite a big order um a month or so ago so that was reassuring um because sometimes things can go slower than you would expect or that you yeah. than you would like but you have to realize that it's a journey and things don't just happen by magic so I would just say every order I find is um is like a achievement or like a yes. up or something that keeps me going basically um I wouldn't don't think I could pinpoint anything specific at this moment in time but yeah so just grateful for every single bit yeah I know yeah. I love that <laughs> um so right what keeps you going through this so I'd say that what keeps me going would be firstly remembering the heart behind the brand and what we do and that you know there's a message with everything um that we do and put out and behind all the products that we um end up sending out um and it's I guess keeping the focus on the people that we're reaching and mm-hmm. the positive impact that we can have on their lives um and not just the people that we've only currently reached but also the people that we can reach with our message and our encouragements um and even like with our because we have a we have a weekly newsletter that we put out with either recommendations, encouragements, mental health tips and that kind of stuff. So it's all the little things um, focusing on the people um, behind everything that we do, basically, I would say that keeps, keeps us Yeah. Going. Well, that's really good. What would be your advice to someone that's thinking of starting a business or already in business? Um, what would you have to say to them? Um, I would say be patient and make sure you're constantly looking for information and looking for ways that you can grow and develop and be proactive about um, your learning journey at the very start. Um, But patience is definitely key because things don't happen overnight. The, The time it took from the very initial idea of Unoya to eventually launching last year was mm. a good maybe four or five years and even then we had a we launched um we launched the year before it was like a pre-launch but since then the idea completely changed and developed so be open to your I- initial idea yeah. becoming something else that you didn't initially think or plan for it to be as well so i'm sure a lot of people appreciate that a um, bit of advice what do you wish Um, someone told you before you started your business I think I just wish I knew how hard it would be like I know everyone tells you that it's you know it's everyone says oh it's you know it's hard and takes up a lot of your time but I just when you have your idea you just have this like vision in your head of just creating your products and launching and everything being fun and dandy you know getting your samples and everything's great and just going you know this just this lovely idea when there's so much that goes wrong yeah (laughs) this is like and like it's not like something to dishearten anybody It, it just is what it is and you just have to keep going but it's not smooth sailing um and I wish that had been drawn to me a bit more for yeah all good well chloe thank you so much for sharing and can you let our audience know where they can find you yeah so our website is www.unoyaldn.com and our instagram is at unoya london that's l-o-n-d-o-n and if you sign up to our mailing list you get weekly bit of goodness to your inbox every monday so i would recommend (laughs) <laughs> Good stuff. Well, I'm going to leave all of Chloe's details down below anyways. All right. So you guys make sure to follow and support her. All right. Um, and Chloe, thank you again for sharing with us. 
no problem. Anytime. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Woman to Woman Business.